back to my channel. Today I am coming at you guys with another DIY and I am super excited about this one. Before I get started, if this is your first time on this channel, welcome. My name is Megan and I post new affordable and ethical lifestyle content every Monday and Friday. So please make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss when I post and give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoy it. This project is super, super easy. The actual amount of time that you'll spend working on it, not including dry time, because there is quite a bit of dry time involved, is probably about 10 minutes. These would make such a cute gift. And they also look super cute just displayed in your own home. So I hope you guys enjoy and we will get started with the tutorial. So the first thing that you're gonna do is mix your concrete according to the directions on your package. We used the quick reek concrete just because we had it laying around and I actually added a little bit of extra water so the consistency was a little bit more runny. When the concrete is all mixed, I just used a paint stick to put it into these two plastic grower pots that I used to have plants in. They have since been moved to larger homes. You wanna make sure that you pack that down really tight and then go ahead and stick two skewers in each one of those pots. Then use the paint stick to tamp everything down again just to make sure that you don't have any air bubbles and as an extra safety measure, go ahead and bang it against the table or the floor or whatever surface you're using just to be extra, extra sure. When those are about halfway dry, remove the skewers. Don't wait until they're all the way dry because then they can get stuck and you'll have to use pliers and it's a pain in the butt. Then I removed the concrete from the plastic pot just by tapping at the bottom with a hammer until it came out and then I repeated it for the smaller pot as well. Next, use some sandpaper to sand down any rough edges and distress it if you want a slightly more distressed look. Next, to get our foiled edge effect, you're gonna take a piece of construction paper and very roughly tear it. We want this to be a very organic edge, so don't do anything too perfect. Measure it around the concrete that you have and tape it with some scotch tape. And use some metallic paint to spray the negative space. Make sure you go all the way around and use enough paint that you don't get any bare spots. For the second pot, I actually sectioned off the other end just so that I would have the gold on top on one and the gold on bottom on another. And again, I just gave this a very rough organic edge. Then I left those to dry about a half an hour, just long enough for the spray paint to set. When they were all dry, I removed the construction paper and checked to make sure that I liked all the edges. Next, I took some E6000, which is an amazing craft glue, and I used it to fill the holes in the two pots and then used this 14 gauge gold wire to create the nest that the air plants are going to sit in. Don't worry about shaping them for now, just stick them in while the glue sets and use something to prop up the edges if you need to. I used this black pot and a can of canola spray. This is the last time we have to leave things to dry, so just make sure that the glue is nice and expanded and your wires aren't going anywhere. For the smaller one, you can use pliers to create the spiral shape since it's a little bit tighter. Use your air plant along the way to make sure that you're sizing this correctly. Since the spiral is much larger on the larger of the two stands, you can kind of just use your hands to create whatever kind of shape that you want. Again, make sure that you use your air plant so that you're not creating something that's too small or too large um, that your plant is going to fall through. Place both of your plants in your air plant stands and you're done! I think this DIY is super easy and super cute and I really hope that you guys enjoy making it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I'm so happy to have you here. Again, please don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for new affordable lifestyle content every Monday and Friday. As usual, I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are and I'll see you all with my next video.